Welcome to the History Hunter and welcome to our small adventures with the World War II time frame. It is this gentleman here, History Hunter and... Eagle Eyes! <laughs> Eagle Eyes, we are out on a little metal detecting journey here, a little adventure. This is on the Atlantic Wall where the Germans had their secret things. Partic particularly this area is all about um, underground bunkers, uh, antenna radar systems and uh, anti-aircraft gun positions. So. Let's head on out and see if we can find some history and share some history with you right now. Metal detecting is always fun, very simple. Have a metal detector, a spade, a pinpointer to find the small details in the ground and off you go. I'm going to use the Macro Multi Cruiser today. I'm going to put it on a pretty simple tree tone program. Not too deep, there's a lot of stuff laying around in the ground. That one will not break and this one will do its job so I think today will be the day we'll find greatness. You guys got something here, a massive thing. I'll go and get that. Can we? What the heck is that? Can you get it? Mm. Okay, you hold the camera. Hold it like that. Okay. Just down there. Oh, crack. Take it now. Let's see, what is that? Let me see, turn around. I haven't got a clue. See where the Germans were and what they used it for, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but it's a big, big lump of iron, that's for sure. That is interesting. It's a huge machine gun belt link. Could be for the 50 calibers, you know, the uh, Allied strafed this spot so many times with their aircraft and also could it be post-war I haven't got a clue but that's definitely a piece of a machine gun belt or a machine cannon belt link maybe for the 50 caliber and the browning something like that very nice oh sorry <laughs> very nice Come to think about it, that could also be a 20 millimeter Olicon. Uh, the Germans used that extensively here for anti-aircraft gun purposes. So that could actually be that. Something all the way up in the surface here. So let's see if we can get that together. We don't even have to dig. Let's, what's that? That's a rock. That's not that interesting. Get that out of the way. Okay, so it's actually here. Actually hoping that we can find some of the spent rounds from the anti-aircraft gun positions here. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Is it something? Yes, definitely something. What the hell is that? What the heck is that? You see that? What in the God's name is that thing there? That is big. Looks like some kind of communication equipment. Let's see if we can clean up a little bit more and uh, wait, that's a big little item. <laughs> there you go, the whole area is just used to be forest, not anymore. And more cable, so definitely this is from the German activity here. Nothing else has happened up here, so uh, cool. Yep, it's gonna be a dig together here. Just around there. Don't, don't hammer it too hard because if it's a nice cartridge, it's okay. Sure? It could be, I'm not sure. That's why I'm we're digging it. I, I know. I think you will destroy Ooh, it. Oh, look at that. Can you hold it down here, please? You're welcome to die. No, that's a beauty. Is that an Allied 303? Hmm? That is not a mouse, this is an Allied cartridge. Holy cow! Why are that there? That's a 303 mm. from the Allied. Why are that there? I'm not sure. Check with the pinpointer. Check with that one. 
More? Take that away, please. No. Okay. Yeah, Let's take the one behind us. If you can check out the back, see what date it is. 1940. Alright, you won't be able to see this, but it's an insanely huge metal pipe or cable. I think it's actually a massive cable. And that could be interesting because the Germans run a ton of stuff around here in the ground cable, so I'm not gonna bother with that. That's too big. Something going on here. Very high pitched signal. Hoping for a little cut which uh, I can feel something there. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, it's pretty big. Let's see. Oh. Wow. Oh wow, it's a lid. Sorry. It is actually a lid from one of the fixtures inside a bunker. Holy cow, it is. That is gonna be wonderful. You know, I, yeah, it is definitely a uh, getaway you fly. This is a cover inside one of the um, uh, electrical connector boxes in the bunker. Holy cow. You can see it's been corroding with the, see that? So I do create these beautiful World War II dioramas that I pass on to my supporters. And this is going to be a beautiful restoration project. <sighs> what is wrong with this fly here? So that is definitely coming with us. And the gasket is still there. That is beautiful. So if you check out my videos in the beginning of each month, you can see I create these fantastic World War II dioramas. And I actually give them away to my supporters on Patreon. So... Check out that link in the video description if you want to become a patron member and uh, maybe you end up having a beautiful artifact from the Second World War. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description. You can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with For Your Eyes Only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff. And if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure well this is a very very interesting little proof of the german activity can you turn it around can you see what it is it is actually a german here button and it's right there up in the surface i didn't kind of catch that immediately but it was laying there very nice Yep, let's get another hole here. You got something? Oh, there's a cartridge. More? That's, that's a 303. You got more? Very, very nice. Okay, what's gonna come up next? Oh, let me help you a little bit. Probably down there still. Okay. Is it in there? Yeah. Be careful because it's probably another car too. I can hear it. There's something there. Or could it be an Olicon? No? It's here. Somewhere no, here. No, it's not there. Look. It's right here. Do you see it? Okay, let's take the pinpointer. There, it's not there, it's here. Oh, you got something there. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Thank you. What? Take the shovel away, take it away. Oh, it's up here. And there you go. Look at that. That's the 303 from the Allied, and this is a mouse around. How cool. Very good, young man. Very, very good. It tells the story about the Allied and the Germans right there. Eighty-five. 
that could be interesting. So we'll take the pinpointer somewhere around here. Hoping for a little brass cartridge or something. That would be nice. So at least there are things from the events here. Germans had their secret installations. The Allies tried to get them. What on earth is that? A huge something. Is that a sign? That actually looks like a sign. See how you guys? Looks like a sign. Hmm. All right. We'll continue. This anti-aircraft gun position just behind me here, so hope that I can show. Oh, look at that! Ah, wonderful. That is a cartridge from the German Wehrmacht, a uh, 792, most likely from a MG. Has it been kicked out? Or a Mauser rifle. We're gonna find out the date and all of that in the back. That is wonderful. Love that. Holy wow. That is from the 20 millimeter oil income. That means, let me see what it says on the back here. It says 1942. Yep. How cool is that? So we have the anti-aircraft gun position just two meters that way. And then I know they had the all in con um, machine cannon here. And we have our first proof of that. Is that cool? And that's going to be perfect for one of our dioramas. Let's see if the other signals are just the same. 43. 43? This is getting interesting. So maybe the Allies strafed this area. And then that's where we're finding this. 43. Can you check this one? There's another one there. This is interesting indeed. Wow. Things are starting to look good. Very nice. Oh. Get it away. Got something here. Away. So we are going to find it and oh, this big. is going to be cool. 1943 and 1942. You got 142, the big one, and this one for 1943. And this one looks dead. Wait, was it right there? I'm going to use yours. No! There you go. Oh, is that a big one or a small one? Oh, it's another one of the huge Olicon. Wow. Where is the huge and that one? is marked. Let's see, let's see. 1942. Let's see, let's see. Let me see. Yeah, just give me a second, young man. 19. I can see it. I can't see it. This is 42. Very, very nice. These have been fired, most likely from the Germans towards the Allied coming in attacking. 45? Yeah. Are you kidding me? So that is strange. Must have been made very, very early in the 45. Holy cow. Where did you see the light then? I just say 45. 45? 45. 45. Yep, that's the Olicon. These are beautiful. Oh. And you have the other two? That is from 1945. 45, 42 and 43. These are for the Allied coming for in. The, this is... That is 42. That is 43. Ah, uh, I know. Okay. Very nice. <laughs> Indeed. What a incredible position. And yes, we did find the traces of the past right there. The things from the Germans, the 20 millimeter Olicon, the K98 MG cartridges. We did find the uh, Allied 3 or 3s there and you're going to show you more because there is other things in the ground like the 50 caliber and I'm guessing that the Allied came in, they strafed the area, maybe they attacked it. There are rumors about commandos going into the area and sabotaging. I'm not sure but this place is 
incredible. As I said, we were up here around the flak, the anti-aircraft gun positions, and we're going to look for some uh, underground bunkers, a radar position, stuff like that later, and you're going to join us in a second episode where we go metal detecting, and we will show you great stuff. And Eagle Eyes, he really used that extensively out there, and I'm so proud of him. Thank you all, thank you my Patreon team members. You are definitely helping us out tremendously to go out and do more and share more, so thank you. And the rest of you, if you don't want to become a Patreon team member, at least give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch the videos in full, all of that good stuff. Thank you for being here, and I will definitely see you out there in the next part. Stay safe, keep smiling, and bye-bye.